For those of you who don't know Stephen, he's the author, well, one of the authors of this book, Grey Hat Hacking. He's also written one of the, and forgive me if I use the wrong words, Stephen, one of the most insane, craziest courses at SANS. So perhaps we can start there. What's this course that you've that you've created at SANS? Yeah, I've written quite a few courses at SANS, but I think the one you're referring to is the Advanced Exploit Development course. So yeah. I kind of designed that course as more of like a survey course on different advanced exploit techniques so that you could have one course that focuses like five days or even two weeks on a single topic like kernel exploitation on Windows. But I wanted this one to be a bit of Let's spend the day here on kernel stuff. Let's spend the day there on Linux heap overflows. And then you can continue down one of those paths. So that was kind of the thought process. Just for, for everyone watching, that's like really advanced stuff. Do you, does SANS or do you have a, like a recommended part? Like how do I go from sort of someone like who's perhaps new to this, but really interested in like zero days, interested in the stuff that you do? And perhaps you can talk a, around that, like what exactly do you, are you doing like most of the time? But like, how do I get to that course? Because I'm assuming... I couldn't take that course tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Depending on where you, what your experience is and your background is, it's uh, it's interesting now because I remember twenty years ago. That was kind of around when I was really getting deep into the exploit development side of things. It, it was a lot easier then. Now back then, these techniques that were being discovered were pretty novel. They were new. They were considered quite technical. But I always like to use the analogy of like Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's a well-known skateboarder. Everyone knows yep. who he is. And back in the 80s, I guess, or 90s, when he was really at his prime, the tricks that he was doing were insane and no one could yeah. do them. But nowadays, it's almost like you go to any park and all the kids are doing a lot of those techniques that he was pulling off back in that time. So you need to ramp up quickly to get up to speed and understand all of those foundational techniques and almost repeat those steps and work your way up to what we need to be doing today. And, and that's a good starting point. So I think like going back, you'll always hear references to this paper written by Aleph One called Smashing a Stack for Fun and Profit. And it was written in the earlier mid nineties. And it's basically a classic buffer overflow on Linux, but it's that great starting point that pretty much everyone needs to get through in order to move forward. 